Let's make the call of the bullpen. We welcome in our buddy, Jim Duquette. Dukes, it's going to be a very interesting few weeks for David Stearns and company. So, got to ask you, is it possible that we see the Mets both buy and sell at the deadline, maybe within that starting rotation? So, the Mets are going to sell. Who's somebody that could be made available that's not necessarily going to hurt the team's chances, maybe, for making the postseason? So, I, th I think it's going to take that kind of creativity to uh, really upgrade the team in, in a couple different spots, right? So, and really talking to team uh, to other teams, there's going to be some major league for major league deals done. There's already been one deal uh, trading from a strength. Tampa did it the other day. They traded one of their starters, Aaron Savali, for a prospect, but they also had a, a young uh, pitcher coming up from the minor leagues who was ready and has been on the scene for a little bit, and the, a guy named Shane Boz. So that type of idea is what I have uh, in mind for what the Mets could do. And this is only in the in the line of Kodai Senga when he comes back. They're going to have an extra starter, and in keeping hopefully uh, Christian Scott at the major league level you have to identify who needs starting pitching and who has bullpen depth because as we've kind of noticed uh the bullpen is definitely uh an issue that they need to upgrade even when diaz comes back so the top uh, starting pitching uh, needs here when you look at it for postseason bids cleveland who they have the best bullpen right now so they have extra uh, bullpen pieces you could match up with uh, like a sam hench they have a lefty couple lefties there san francisco you know, they might have interest in a Sean Manaya, and I think Manaya or Quintana, one of those two I'd make available if Kodai Senga, you know, was back in time. And I would say Manaya, Manaya with the Giants, obviously, is a guy that they are very familiar with. He pitched well for them. Uh, you know, and Manaya's having a solid season, don't get me wrong. But to improve the bullpen, you're going to, I think, kind of have to do a couple of things, and one of them is give up some depth uh, with your rotation. So, you know, Manaya was there for San Francisco. You look at Minnesota. Minnesota definitely needs starting pitching. Uh, they have a couple of Levers there going to Houston. Uh, old friend Rafael Montero is like third or fourth on their depth chart. He's had, you know, he's been throwing 96, 98 miles an hour and pitched better as of late. And of course, uh, the Brewers, who Dave Stern's very familiar with, they've pieced together a really good bullpen and could use rotation. So there's at least five teams that need starters that might have bullpen depth. And I think that would be a way to kind of kickstart their their uh, trading uh, partners, but it needs to happen when Senga is either back or close to coming back.